This video talks about the metacarpals. Now, there is only three metacarpals that are of clinical significance. But if we know the metacarpals and we see an x-ray and we cannot identify which one is which, then it's very sad. So let's go over the metacarpals really fast. So here, what I do is I always look at an x-ray of a hand and I think of, okay, this is the thumb side and this is the fifth digit. So I start from the thumb side and I start off with the most proximal metacarpals to the wrist. So the most proximal metacarpal to the wrist is the scaphoid, okay? It is also the largest uh, metacarpal that's out there. After the scaphoid is the lunate. Both of these have clinical significance and I'll talk about them in a, in a minute. After scaphoid lunate, there is tri trichetrum, pisiform, hamate, capitate, trapezoid, trapezium. Okay, scaphoid followed by lunate, followed by trichiatrum, pisiform, and hamate is the closest to the fifth digit. Okay, you see how it's close to the fifth digit? And followed by um, capitate, trapezoid, and trapezium. Now, let's talk about scaphoid first. Scaphoid is the largest bone in the metacarpals, among the metacarpals, and it is also the most, um, most fractured bone in the hand. Even though it's difficult to fracture a scaphoid bone, about 60% of the carpal fractures are going to be scaphoid bone. You can ask why. Well, it is it's because of the anatomy. The positioning of the bone makes it more, um, more likely to be fractured than the other bones. So that's scaphoid, which is right here near the thumb side, most proximal to the wrist. Next is lunate. So lunate, uh, this is the bone that is most commonly displaced. And usually sometimes it is displaced onto um, the carpal tunnel causing a median nerve, uh, median nerve uh, problem. So that is the clinical significance of lunate. The next one that I want to talk about is hamate. So you see how hamate kind of sits at the base of the fifth digit. See how it's almost aligning with the fifth digit. It's because um, anytime, the clinical significance of hamate is that anytime you hit something really hard, uh, a specific example would be a golfer who hits a golf ball really hard can, um, can fracture the hook of hamate. That's also a very, uh, very common clinical, uh, clinical scenario. Or even if, even if you're hitting something hard onto the ground, you can have a, a hook of hamate fracture right here. So that's it. That, those are the three clinical significance of the carpals. Scaphoid is the most commonly injured, even though it's the hardest to injure. Uh, commonly fractured, even though it's the hardest to fracture. Lunate is the one, the dislocation of lunate on an outstretched hand can cause um, median nerve uh, damage. And hamate, it is, uh, it is aligned with the fifth digits, and this is the one that can cause um, that can cause a dislocation of the hook of the, uh, uh, fracture of the hook of the hamate when you're hitting the ground or hitting something hard uh, with the force downwards.